For 2024, I'll be using this Hobonichi Weeks as part of my planner lineup. So I've been watching a lot of established Hobonichias and getting inspirations on how they use the different planner pages. So for today, I'll show you how I think I'm going to use the 2024 calendar index spread. Let's go. The width of the columns on this calendar is quite narrow, so I don't see me writing anything down on it. But what I think I'll use it for next year is use it as a mood tracker. I'm going to use these five Muji gel pens to color code my mood. They are the 0.5 clickable pens. For this video, I'm going to use my current 2023 mood trackers to show how I want this spread to look and function. If you're interested in any of the products I showcase, check the description below for details. This is my January 2023 mood and sleep tracker page. What I'm going to do is copy what mood I had for each day of the month onto my Hobonichi Weeks calendar index. That way I'll be able to see if what I have in my mind works as well as how it's going to look by color coding the mood with my colored gel pens. I'm adding this 200 GSM weighted piece of paper cut to size as a backing to the index page as that's what I've seen most Hobonichas users do. I think it's to avoid leaving pen indentation on the opposite page. To be able to play around how I want to set up the index spread, I made a photocopy of it and that way I can do as much experimenting before I start using the actual 2024 planner. What I'll do is just paper clip it into place, that way I can get a good feel on what it'll be like to use the planner. Now I actually haven't made any pen markings on the Tomo River paper yet, so that's something to look forward to. To colour code my mood tracker, I'll be using these five colours. Green is for a great day, yellow for a good day, grey for a meh kind of a day, blue for a tense or anxious day, and red for a sad or angry day. I'll just copy what mood I had for each day starting from January 1st. So using the clickable Muji gel pens, I just transfer each mood one by one. Now I am going to fast track most of this bit, but we'll stop from time to time with anything I think that may be useful for those of you who also want to start tracking your mood for 2024. Now I'm using colours different from the five that I normally use because when I first started to experiment making the coloured markings on the Hobonichi planner, the current colours I use just blended next to each other and I couldn't really differentiate between the orange and the yellow next to each other. So I changed the meh kind of day colour code to grey instead. So here's what my January 2023 mood tracker looked like. Quite a good month overall and towards the end, it was a great month. Time to do the rest of the months of 2023. Now this mood tracker is my bullet journal style printable. Same concept, just a different layout. Now February 3rd was actually a sad day as that was when I had a breaking point, my mental breakdown. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Marianne and I use my planning and my planners not just as a productivity tool but also as a form of self-care. It's my me time which for the last 8 months has helped me cope and heal a lot more than I know I would have without it. Let's quickly talk about how I'm making my markings on this tracker. Now I saw in one of the many Hobonichi related videos how someone marked their calendar index with just squiggle lines like this. Now apologies that I can't remember that YouTube account but if anybody knows please let me know in the comment section below. I know I'll most likely not keep the squiggles all evenly spread so I decided to use these diagonal lines instead. Now I just want to point out that there are days that I didn't track my mood so for those of you new to tracking don't be hard on yourself when you do miss a day or two or sometimes more when it comes to mood or habit tracking. Just pick up as best as you can on the next day. Let's keep going with marking down the moods I had for March 2023. The great thing having a tracker like this where you can see the whole year is that you can start to see patterns, whether it's your mood or any of the other habits and routines you want to track. Now I can see here that for my mood, around the middle of the month, I have meh 
kind of days. So this can be because it's no longer the excitement of a new month and the daily routines of the month start to become monotonous. By seeing patterns like this, I can make moves toward making sure that I put activities in place that bring me joy. As I know for myself, these types of days, I question myself, I doubt my abilities, and I can get quite hard on myself. Question of the day, do you track your mood in your planner? If not, is this something you think you'll start in 2024? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you're finding value in today's video, make sure to hit that like button to let me know you're enjoying this video. And here we are, April's Mood Tracker. I wanted to try the Hobonichi planners for the new year because I like to change things up from time to time when it comes to my planning and planners. According to James Clear's book, The Atomic Habits, the greatest threat to success is not failure, but boredom. That's why in the planner community, the elusive planner piece can never be quite reached. When our habits and routines like planning become ordinary and same same, we can start to derail our progress, even when it's working out well, just to seek that newness, that novelty. So we might as well embrace it by either having a new planner or new planner layouts. Now I know firsthand how expensive these trending new planners can be. So for those of you who already have ring planners or disc bound planners and may want something new for the new year, check out my shop at maryannecresp.com for different varieties of printable downloads to suit your productivity, well-being, habit tracking and fun tracking needs. I have them available for A5, Happy Planner Classic, Letter or Big Happy Planner or Personal Size Planners. Now back to our regular viewing. I'm going to jump to September's mood tracker as I couldn't locate the August one at first, but I will come back to it a little bit later in the video. That way I can see the full mood tracker up until October to see if this calendar index layout is what I'll use for 2024. Now I did manage to find my August planner pages. I think too this is a reason why I want to try out a full year's planner in one. That way I can keep everything together. Now let's have a look at the full view of my Hobonichi Weeks calendar index layout. It gives me a nice bird's eye view of my mood for the year. Now each day doesn't mean it was all good or all great or sad or tense for the whole day. The way I'm tracking my mood is how overall the day felt. If only for part of the day I was angry, I'm not going to mark the whole day as angry. The way you track your mood will be different and it needs to be something that makes sense to you. If you enjoyed this video, watch my Hobonichi Planner playlist. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.